I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. I'm here with Don Carr, and we're going to check out the Fender Eric Johnson Thinline Strat. Let's get started. <laughs> So, Don, Eric Johnson has had a signature Strat for a number of years. Right. The big difference, of course, with this one is mm -hmm. that it is a thin line, which means it's hollow on both the bass side and the treble side. Right, and it's got a, enough of a block to support the uh, um, to support the bridge, mm -hmm. and but that's basically it, right? Right, that's the biggest difference between yeah. it. But it really makes a dramatic difference in the tone, if you ask me anyway. It I mean, sure does. As we're man. sitting here listening, do you play? And I've, I've seen Eric actually using this mm -hmm. several times right. as well. In particular, on the clean tones is where I'm really noticing a difference in the depth and the resonance of the guitar. There is. There's just an air. It's like any semi-hollow guitar like that. There's just a little bit of extra air with it. Right. Now, we had Eric here last uh, summer. He was mm -hmm. here for Gear Fest. Right. He was playing a prototype of this guitar. Mm -hmm. This is actually, uh, the ones we're holding here right. are actually production models. And there's a little bit of a difference. There's actually more wood that means that it basically doesn't feed back quite as much. Sure, and that's got to be a high volume thing. I mean, think about it, you know, if you're playing a semi-hollow body guitar at that kind of stage volume, you know, you're you're running into trouble a lot. Right, right. And one of the things we've been talking about is that with a signature guitar, you're pretty much guaranteed that you're using the same instrument as the artist does. Mm -hmm. In this case, it is exactly the same one sure. that, that Eric plays, and it's going to deliver those tones. Yeah. The question is always, is it going to deliver your tone? Is it going to be versatile enough for other kinds of things? What's your impression of this strap? Man, immediately right away this is just a great strat I mean it's really balanced it feels good it sounds good and it has the extra thing of the air with mm -hmm. the hollow body which is really astounding man it sounds great right of course the other big benefit of it is it's extremely lightweight I mean these <laughs> oh, are no really lightweight guitars yeah. right so when we're talking about an Eric Johnson strat there are a number of particular features that Eric asks for and of course they're all included here as well now what we have is a semi-hollow body alder guitar. So we have an alder top with an alder back. It's hollow on the bass side, the treble side. We have the F-hole here. Aside from that, it's the same as the Eric Johnson signature. That means that we have a quarter sawn maple neck. We have medium jumbo frets. We have no string tree, so we have graduated tuners. So that brings the string down to maintain the pressure across the nut. We also have Eric's graduated pickup setup, which means we have an Alnico 5 here on the bridge. And the neck in the middle are Alnico 3. And the way these are set up is as you progress across the settings on the five-way switch, the tone stays constant as far as the balance among the three pickups. It changes, of course, using the three different pickups, but the balance stays the same. The other thing that Eric asks for is a particular control setup as far as his volume and tone controls go. The way this works is we have a master volume control just as on any other Stratocaster. The middle tone control is wired just to the neck pickup, and the bottom tone control is wired just to the bridge pickup. With Eric's setup, we have a standard vintage-style tremolo bridge. We have five springs in the neck cavity and back, and the bridge is pulled back so it's tight against the body, and that transfers maximum resonance from the strings into the wood and gets it into the pickup to give you that thicker, fatter tone. So with that said, what really matters with any guitar, and in particular this guitar, which is designed to be so toneful, is what the sound's like coming out of the instrument itself. So Don's going to play for us. He's going to show us a variety of different tones. Some of them will be sort of Eric Johnson-like, but most of them will not be, because we want you to hear how versatile this Stratocaster is. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So, Don, I know you've been spending some time with the Eric Johnson Thin Line. Mm -hmm. Give us your final impressions of this instrument. Man, I mean, it's just safe to say this is a great Stratocaster. I mean, Eric is notoriously picky about every detail, and it really matters. It really does. This is a great guitar, period. It all kind of comes together, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It sure does. Because you have all those individual features, but when you put them into one guitar, it really makes for a spectacular mm -hmm. instrument. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Eric Johnson Thin Line Strat. It's a really cool guitar. You're going to want to check this one out. And on behalf of Don Carr and myself, thanks for joining us for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.